Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try these new White Castle Jalapeno Cheeseburger Castle Bites. Um, it says it's made with 100% beef, real Monterey Jack cheese, jalapeno peppers, and onions wrapped in a delicious golden crust. It's kind of like pizza bites, but it's got, um, you can see it's kind of got, looks like a hamburger, like ground beef and stuff in there. So it looks really, really good. Uh, this bag is, how big is this bag? This bag is uh, 18 ounces, one pound, two ounces, or 510 grams. Uh, we bought it for $6.49 at Kroger. I'm sure they'll sell it other places, but that was the, the first place we happened to see it. Um, turn you up here a little bit. So the calories. So there's six servings in the container, six bites is 210 calories, which isn't actually awful, awfully bad, but I don't think they're that big either. There's your other information for you. Um, the back of the box is more of an ad than anything. See, and then the other side has your directions for cooking. Um, it says keep frozen. Uh, you can do it in a conventional oven, which is probably the best way. And actually says the best way. So oven is gonna be the best way to make these, of course, because they're actually gonna get crispy and so on the outside. Um, if you do it in the microwave, they're not gonna be as crunchy. So, but it does give oven directions. So anytime they give you oven, I mean microwave oven directions, then that means they're okay with making them that way. So that's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna arrange six frozen bites in a circle on a microwave safe plate. Say your chant over them while you've got them in their circle. Microwave and high for one minute, and then let stand for one to two minutes. So really, it doesn't take very long at all, just a minute. Um, if you were doing the oven, it takes nine and a half to 10 minutes. So that's still not too bad, um, but you have to wait for your oven to, to heat up too. So keep that in mind. So uh, six bites in a circle for one minute. So let's see what these look like. Got my scissors so I can get it open easier than trying to do anything else pull it open yeah these look just like a like a pizza bite they even feel like they have a very similar texture to a pizza bite they even smell like um, um, kind of like that egg roll smell you get kind of like that uh, fried uh, smell so there they are and I'm gonna get them I've arranged them in a circle yep and uh, I'm gonna get them in the microwave I'll be back all right, so here they are out of the microwave. They really don't look much different except stuff's leaking out of them. Um, there is some moisture around on the plate, so just to let you know, there, there will be kind of steam on it. Um, I didn't put this on a paper plate because I didn't think I really needed to, but there's there it is. Let me see if I can cut another one. They're very mushy um, and soft on the, the bites. I <laughs> tell you what, the filling, I mean, technically they're filled, but boy, they're not filled much. There's the inside of one. You can see... I mean, there's a lot more of the breading on the outside or whatever that is than there is filling, that's for sure. So I'm actually gonna cut um, probably most of these in half to let them cool off because they're really hot in the center. But uh, yeah, if I wasn't doing a video, I'd probably leave them together. But since I am doing a video, I have to let them cool off quicker. And I don't like to eat scalding hot stuff. So uh, no, tongue blisters are not for me. So that one's pretty, that one's, stuff pretty good so i'm gonna get this over the table and uh, give it a try okay i cut them in half and then I, I didn't really give them much time to cool off maybe a minute uh total so here we go i'm gonna take one hmm. it definitely has that classic uh white castles flavor of the ground beef and then the wow the jalapeno comes in and, like beats you down uh, on your tongue and back of your throat Wow, those are hot. Um, whew, I mean, hot. Burn the back of your throat hot. Now, I do have to say, jalapenos really uh, are hot for me. Like, if Tammy ate these, she'd probably think, eh, they're a little warm, that's it. Uh, for me, jalapenos tend to be a little hotter. These are very, very, very hot. So, uh, so just, just know that. Uh, it does say jalapeno. They are hot. They're not just the jalapeno flavor. They got some spice to them. I do... If you like the White Castle's hamburger, I think you'll like the flavor of these okay because they do taste just like a White Castle's hamburger. They have that same very distinct White Castle's flavor. I don't know what makes it different than everybody else, but like White Castle's hamburger tastes different than other hamburgers. And uh, still very hot. Um, the outside, it tastes almost like a, a chewy bread. Like it's not quite as chewy as like a um, like a pretzel. It's not quite that chewy or a bagel or something like that. 
Um, but it's chewier than like a bun, like a, just a bread. So, um, so it's somewhere in between. They're also, I kind of mentioned um, pizza bites. These have a different texture than a pizza bite as well. Pizza bite is kind of, um, they're more egg roll kind of uh, textured, like the fried crispy texture. These are not, I don't, you, even if you do them in the oven, I don't know that these would get as crispy as like those pizza rolls because I don't think they're going to crisp up that much. Now they will get a little crisper than in the microwave, but they're not going to get super, super crispy. Um, I like these. I like the quality and like the, the texture of them is really nice. It's not mushy or, um, you know, squishy or too tough or dried out or hard or anything like that. They, they do have a little chew to them, but it's more like a, just like a, a chewy bread than, than anything. So I, I don't mind the texture at all. The insides are not are nice and filled with the ground beef. You do get that texture of the ground beef. Now they're not super filled, but you do get the texture of the ground beef. Um, and then they're kind of creamy from the cheese, but um, they're too hot for me to really sit here and enjoy them. Um, I've eaten what, four bites probably, three or four, and the burn in the back of my throat is just like constant. It's, it's really, really hot. So uh, I think if you like um, the White Castle's cheeseburgers and you like that jalapeno burn and you want a little bit of that, jal that uh, White Castle's burger flavor, I think you'll like these okay. Um, just do them in the oven. I think they'll be a little bit better in the oven. Like I said, I don't mind these being a little chewier, but um, I do think they'll be a little bit better in the oven because they will give a little bit more of a crunch on the outside, whereas these are all going to be soft and chewy. Yeah, not like a bun, not like a piece of bread. But more like a roll than like a hamburger bun, if that makes sense. Um, that's kind of what the texture of this is like. So overall good. Um, for me, it's going to be a three out of five because I don't like the heat and uh, the flavor is okay though. I don't have a problem with the flavor. It's just that the heat's a little too much for me. But if you like uh, a jalapeno heat, go for it. You might think of more of a four than anything, uh, but I'm going to give them a three out of five for me. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.